In this video series, I'm going to show you all of the assets, characters, and templates that come with Create Studio 3. I'm going to show you which ones are available on the standard plan and which are on the All Access Pass. I'm going to show you everything. Nothing's going to be left out. That way, I hope this video will help you decide whether to get Create Studio 3 or not, if you've been sitting on the fence about it. Most videos on Create Studio 3 will give you a good broad overview about what the software does, but will provide very few specific examples about the assets included. This video series does just that. You might be surprised at just how much there is. There's an absolute ton. Tons is an understatement. This video is number two, in which I'm going to show you the 3D creator characters, the standard characters, which are both 2D and 3D, and the character scenes. For a full list of all eight videos and what I reveal in them, please refer to the description below. Also, to make your viewing experience as smooth as possible, I've created exhaustive chapters as well as titles within the video so that you can easily find the sections that are most interesting to you. And please don't hesitate to ask me any questions you might have in the comments below. Okay, so let's get into it. Just before we get into it, in case you don't know, there are two tiers to Create Studio. One is the standard plan and the other is the all access pass. So with Create Studio, you have three options. You have monthly plans, you have a lifetime offer, which is the main promotion. And to be honest, it is the best value. It's $67 and lifetime. This is for the founding members. So supposedly at some point in the future, this, this offer won't be around anymore. And both the monthly subscriptions and the lifetime offer give you a ton of stuff, a ton of assets and features. And then there's the all access pass. So there are some features and assets in the service that are not available in the standard plan. Okay, so this is the second tier. And this is available in addition to the previous plans or to the lifetime deal, either on a monthly subscription or on an annual subscription. The annual subscription being a lot cheaper. And just as I'm making this video, there is a special offer. I don't know how long it's going to last, but uh, as you can see here, instead of 37 a month, you can get all access pass for $27 per month, or the annual pass instead of $299, you can get it for $147. So uh, I just saw this one today, and this is new since yesterday or a couple of days ago, and uh, I have no idea how long it will last. So uh, if you're thinking about going for it, I would suggest doing so now. So anyway, let's get back to the main content of the video. So then we have the 3D creator characters. So the 3D creator characters are a new type of 3D character that's more customizable and it has more options. So there aren't that many of them at the moment. I understand they're going to be adding some. I think Leo is new. I don't think he was there a week or so ago. So we have Linka, Tom, Leo as adults. And then you have these heads and a couple of children, okay? A boy and a girl. So let's take Tom. If we take Tom and put him on the timeline. So the 3D creator characters have a few things that set them apart from the standard 3D characters. And so the first of those is the ability to customize their clothing and their facial hair and accessories. So here we have top, bottom, shoes, hats, hair, glasses, facial hair, eyebrows, accessories, etc. So let's just say, let's first of all start with the hair, facial hair. We'll change him to having this little goatee. And we'll come to the hair and <laughs> we'll give him that hair. And then we can say, has he got an accessory backpack? Yeah, stick a backpack on him. All right, so that's what that does. All right. And then besides that, well, they're, all characters have actions. Okay. Um, so you that just gives them a, a, a movement that so by default they they're in an idle state okay so they're not really moving okay uh, but you can add an action and then the you know it will do the actions preset action from this list of actions which is quite long and then um 
I mean, I don't know what else you want. So we try a superhero. There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, and then another thing that sets them apart is that they have this rotate option here. If you just select them, click rotate, and then click and drag, you can put them in at any angle you want. So that's that's something the other, the other normal 3D characters do not have. Okay, so let's go back here again. So that's the 3D characters, and now we have normal characters. Okay, so there is an awful lot in here. Okay, that just keeps loading. And we're on the all access pass stuff. Okay, so that's that's all of them and all the categories. I'm not gonna count them, but that's a lot. So let's go through it by category. So first of all, uh we'll look at the three D characters. Alright, so we have all of these. Business lady, hipster guy, astronaut. Grandpa, Tom, Bruce, Mexican guy. There's Jack, who you would have seen on the promotional material. And um, some alien-y, robot-y things. Okay, some plasticine-type uh, animation characters. Santa. Okay, more and more and more. And now we're down to the all access Pass characters. So all of this above is on the standard plan. And then from here on, it's all access pass. So I say about the same amount of each. So on the all access pass, you'll double your assets. Okay. So let's take a look at a couple. So first of all, let's see, let's have a look at Eddie. Okay, right. So that's Eddie. He's waving by default. So as this is a standard 3D character, there's no rotate function and we don't have the customizable clothing or accessories or anything, okay? <clears throat> what we do have are the actions. So click on add new, we have um, Quite a lot, quite a lot of actions to choose from. Let's try those two. Showing graph and shake hand sideways. Let's see. All right. Okay, so shaking hand, you could put him with another character shaking hands, I presume. Okay, so that's a standard 3D character and Let's have a look at, I don't know, shall we try Elisa? All right, she's cute. Okay, comes in with a wave as well. Let's see what else we can make her do. Pops out of the box. Let's try that. <laughs> that's pretty cool all right and yeah let's try the cat waving uh, sad cat all right sad for a little bit there okay so there's those are the standard 3d characters um and then we have let's just have a little look at plasticine guy Waving again. All right. Oh, so the action of him melting. Let's just have a look. Is it on here? Melting into a clay blob. There you go. <clears throat> All right. So, okay. And then we have the um, all access pass ones. All right. So 
again, they're, they're standard 3D characters. They won't have the configurable clothing and the hair and stuff. So next, move on to the Supreme. Now, these are the, uh, the original uh, characters that came with the first versions of Create Studio. So let's try Fitness Girl. So these are 2D. They have this funny, lo long-legged uh, style. So again, these are not configurable in, in terms of clothing in here, but they do have actions, so we can add um, press-ups, for example. Go, girl. All right, excellent. Uh, so we have these. How many do we have here? Is it going to load anymore? No, that, that's it. Okay, so that's about... 15 or so of these. Let's see what else could we have a look at. Superhero girl. Pointy. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so 2D there called Supreme. And then Startup Team, which is just a, a couple. Um, half of which are on the all access. Let's see what uh, Anne does. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, similar to the standard 2Ds. So there's a lot of these actions come with pre-built animations and uh, other objects like the trophy here. So unfortunately we can't look at absolutely all of these. We would seriously be here for about 24 hours, I think. So, uh, something you'll have to look at. But uh, there is a lot going on here that is worth investigating. So, next up we have bobbleheads. So, this is mainly on uh, All Access Pass, but not all of it. Uh, I've done one here myself. Hang on. So, yeah, anyway, these are designed to go with a cutout of your head. So, of somebody's head, you put that in the gap, and uh, you get a little animation of them. I could show you that. So I did a cutout of my head with the pen tool and the background removal tool in Create Studio. Stuck it on top of the hot dog, and animated it with one of these preset animations that I showed you earlier. Okay, so that's what the bobblehead bodies are for and uh, you get five on the standard plan. Moving on, let's go to minimal. So you have these six uh, 2D characters that are all on the all access plan. And I presume they will have actions like all of the other characters. So next we have flow. Let's see, these are all available on the standard. There's 12, 13 of these, and there's a few different characters like grandma. So again, 2D, starts with a wave, and you can add different actions. All right, so that's the flow category. And then we have the doodles. So let's try a stick man. Okay, here he is. It starts off with a wave. And we can add actions to him as well. So, let's see. Jump in and wave. Dancing. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Now, next. Still going. We've got animals. Four on the standard plan, and another, another six on the another six on the all access pass. So again, waving when he comes in, and then we have our other actions here to add if we want. Not as many. Mhm. Mm Okay, right, getting to the end now, and then we have Classy, 
So most of these are on the all access pass. They're 2D, there's about maybe 20 of these. And uh, you get tradesman, businesswoman, chef, lion for free. So, uh, well, with the standard plan. Um, so wait, let's try chef. Show you chef. Who is the chef? All right, and again, same actions, you know, similar actions, quite a lot of them. Uh, let's try high five. Okay. Right. And then finally we have scenes. So, scenes, last but not least, this is a large gallery of pre-made scenes. So, it's not the same as templates. These are not editable in general. So, uh, let's see, for example, book happy. Let's take book happy, driving car. And... And target, yeah, target looks good. So, book happy. All right. So this is a non-editable pre-made scene that might be suitable for something you're doing. If you double click it, no, there's no layers to edit or anything, okay. And the same here. What do we have, driving car? Okay, these are characters which are available, so if you were to be using these characters, then this scene might work in something that you're doing. So if we come back, I'll just show you, I think it's called Rohit, there he is, this is Rohit. That's Rohit, so this scene could be useful for you if you're using Rohit, or not. Right, back to the scenes. And then the last one was the target. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They are almost all in the 3D character style. Um, this one here is perhaps a bit more 2D. Let's try this, just so you see the difference. Yeah, there's more 2D. And then you have a few other things here, like someone looking at, a, someone holding a mobile. and someone playing with a credit card. Right. So scenes are the 3D style and there's, I'd say, 50, about 50. I hope this video was useful to you. The next video in this series will be appearing at the end of this video for you to click on it if you wish. That will be covering shapes, emojis and icons. The full playlist of all eight videos in this series and what they cover is in the description below. And in the description below you will also find a link which will take you to the official Create Studio website where you can check out the lifetime deal which is definitely worth a look because it represents great value in my opinion. If you did find this video useful please give it a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more videos of this type from me. You might also like my Create Studio 3 playlist, which should be appearing up here now as well, where you can find other tips and tutorials all about Create Studio 3. Thanks for watching.